Hi everyone, it's Margaret here with 60 and Me. Is volunteering for you after 60? I'm going to give you 10 benefits that just might give you a boost and some motivation to explore this option. We did a survey recently on 60 and Me, and there was a lot of comments about loneliness and feeling isolated um, after 60. And volunteering may just be a great um, activity for you to pursue. Now, one of our bloggers, Sheila Murray, wrote this article about her own experience, and I encourage you to read it because she goes through all the kinds of questions and, and challenges that, that you may be thinking about as well. But there are some really good reasons to consider it. And, um, you know, if you've got time, if you've got um, skills and you've got something you want to share with the world after you've retired or at least uh, slowed down in your working world, volunteering is a really great way to do it. First of all, it's a way of giving back. And I think this is probably, for me, the strongest uh, reason to consider it because it allows you to give back to the world the things that you've learned through experience and wisdom. And I think in a way, it sort of helps to validate the idea that women over 60 are still relevant, that we are, um, our wisdom and our experience in the world is actually something that to contribute back. And there are so many organizations that need, you know, this kind of experience and, and, and an understanding of perspective in the real world. And at the end of a successful working life, You've got things that you've learned, maybe decisions or directions that you took that you um, that now gave you some special skills, some some special um, things you can give back to the world. I um, I personally have um, never volunteered formally, but I figure that mentoring and this work that I do on 60 and Me is a similar kind of um, opportunity because I feel like I bring to it, you know, my own experience and my own um, decisions and mistakes I made, and I think that's what we bring to a volunteering opportunity. So older women, no doubt in my mind are more relevant and more and more um, and are valuable in, in our society today. We've been through a lot the last few years and I think that older women can bring a lot to the volunteering world. One thing, um, another thing of course, is a mood booster. It just makes you feel good to get out into the world and to help other people. Whether you're working with someone that you, you know, in a, in a sort of line of work that you've done before or whether it's something that you've just really always wanted to do. I think that it's really a powerful mood booster. It gives you that dopamine hit. You just feel better. <laughs> you just feel better about yourself and about the energy that you have to bring to the world. It is a bit of a hobby land. This is number three. If you have always wanted to do something and you feel like you've got a volunteering opportunity that, that you, you know, you've researched that matches that, um, that dream or that, that thing you've always desired, you know, yes, you won't go into it knowing everything, but you'll go into it with an enthusiasm and an excitement about it. So I think that uh, volunteering is a bit of a way to explore those parts of yourself that you've left uh, undiscovered as you've gotten older. Another thing is that it enables you to polish your skills. Now, if you have got skills based on a you know, degree that you've uh, achieved or just a lot of experience in, in a certain workplace, you know, you, you would say you were in the medical field or the health field or teaching or all those kinds of things that are so, so valuable, doing it in a volunteer context gives you a way to get even better at it. And if you're considering going back to do a part-time um, gig or you're looking to do some of a, um, uh, like a side hustle or even a part-time you know, business, you, have, you can use volunteering as a way to polish your skills in the real world. Things have changed in terms of technology, in terms of um, you know, access to information. So you may find that even within your own field, you've got skills that could be enhanced. Another thing, keeps you social. <laughs> I mean, as I mentioned earlier, we've done this survey at 60 and Me recently. We do it every year, which talks about, you know, just how people are doing in the in our global community. And we found that a lot of women are feeling, you know, a little bit isolated, especially after the pandemic, where we all got really good at living alone, living by ourselves and coping with, you know, issues and with the world. We now are out there, you know, trying to re-engage. And so volunteering is a great way to meet new people. And if you're in a field, if you're volunteering in a work, in a field that you've done before, you will meet like-minded people. You know, you'll be able to expand your social circle and, you know, and also just, you know, get to know new people, make new friends. And so I think volunteering is a great way to do that in addition to all the others that I've mentioned so far. Another thing, of course, I've mentioned um, sideways here is, is loneliness. I mean, it's such a common uh, thing that we get into in our 60s. We think, you know, living alone is, is going to be OK. And most people who are by themselves, and I include myself in this, are doing OK. We, we like our own company and we like being being alone. But when we start to think, I mean, I'm very fortunate in that I get to share my, you know, my understanding of things and my interest in things with you. So that's kind of for me, my that, you know, that stimulus, that activity. But if you're feeling a bit lonely, that you're not 
getting any validation or any feedback. It's like a feedback loop on your life, on what you do, on, on what, you, what you think is important. Volunteering is a great way to do that. And I'll talk a little bit later about how you can make these matches, but there are plenty of sites online where you can type in, you know, volunteer opportunities in the field of, and then, you know, that loneliness issue does become, you know, an issue. And maybe it's not even loneliness, it's kind of boredom. You know, if you're, if you're at home and you're not doing anything, um, you know, that's kind of a continuation of the things that gave you energy and passion and, um, you know, goodness, you know, you might just be feeling a bit um, irrelevant and, dare I say, invisible. And of course, it's a great way to share skills. I mean, there are so many people who don't have the skills that you have that would love to know more about, you know, accounting or financial services or, you know, a health, health and well-being or travel. I mean, there's so many things you have done in your 60 years that, you know, you can you can give back and, and give people new skills, help them, you know, help them to, to make a leap, leaping start into something that they're going to perhaps build their life on and build their career on. My throat is still giving me challenges here, so I've got my cup of tea. <laughs> I've got um, I've got green tea today, by the way, just in case you're interested in my tea. I'm a tea addict. I love tea, so this is my um, my matcha green tea, and it's really really good for my throat. So let me take a sip. Okay, <clears throat> I think I've mentioned making a difference. It's a mind booster. Volunteering, excellent for the brain. And all these myths about brain, you know, the brain doesn't doesn't grow, doesn't expand, doesn't, um, you know, enha enhance itself as you get older. That's an old, that's a myth. That's not true. Your brain does grow. It continues to expand and to build new neural pathways, which are the things that create habits and actions in our lives. And doing volunteering, even getting up and going out, you know, twice a week or once a week or whatever it is in a structured way, get your brain into a neural pathway that you're doing something good, that you're, you're bringing a little happiness into your life. And brains like those kinds of neural pathways. They like to repeat them <laughs> and, and, and keep them, uh, keep us reminded that we are precious and that we have something of value to add to the world. So Mind Booster, I think I've mentioned 10 now, but these are all things that I would consider um, really uh, benefits of considering volunteering. So basically, let's go. stay active, engaged in the community, gain, gain a sense of fulfillment, make new friends, gain new skills, give back to the community, to the world, share knowledge and expertise, stay connected to the workforce, you know, make positive impact on the life of others. And I think if I was, if I was going to volunteer, what would I do? I think I'd like to work with kids because I really do find that uh, children are so receptive to creativity and to new ideas. And that's kind of what my thing is. I think I've been a communicator and a, and um, you know, I'd love to to teach um, how to build community, how to how to you know, commu um, con you know, connect with other people through words and and stories. So I think I'd like to do that. Maybe work in the library. Oh, I did volunteer once. I remember now reading books for the blind, uh, doing the uh, um, audio books. And it was really, really fun. And I got to read some good books actually that way. That was a really cool experience. But you know, if you've done volunteering. This is an opportunity for you to share, please, because um, people are sitting here thinking, yes, it's all very well, Margaret. You can get all these benefits from volunteering, but how, how do I connect? Where do I go? Well, there are some volunteer organizations um, online. And as I said earlier, you just you only have to type, you know, where are volunteer opportunities in the field of, or I am a good something, where would I be a good volunteer? And there are lots of organizations. I think one is volunteer.org. And if you you have done one, you know, done any volunteering and you'd like to share with the community, we're here for each other, right? This is a video I do. And then I hope at the end you will say, yeah, I did that and add to the conversation. So um, check out online. Also, speaking of online, there is a lot of volunteer opportunity online. You don't even have to go out of your house to, you know, to a location. You can do volunteering online whether it's teaching a language, teaching a skill, uh, counseling, um, guiding, you know, giving advice. There's plenty of online uh, volunteer opportunities too. So I would definitely uh, suggest you, you check that out too. I am actually um, not an expert in volunteering sites. So if you've got one that you think has worked for you, someone, you know, even even like pet, I mean, there's all kinds of, I'm thinking them as I, my brain is ticking over, all kinds of things that, you know, I, I wouldn't mind working in a vet. Maybe that would be fun or in a shelter. I'd probably end up with a lot of dogs and cats. 
kids, knowing me, I've got a big heart. I would probably end up bringing them all home. But you know, this, the kinds of things that would be really good for you based on your passions and your, and your preferences and your likes. So if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and like it because that will help uh, YouTube to know that there are people interested in this. If you comment even better. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel here, if, you've, if you're here for the first time, thank you so much for coming. We've realized uh, through our survey that not a lot of people come from the website to our YouTube channel. And if you've hopped over here because of that article I just mentioned um, by Sheila, um, just stay here and subscribe. We do uh, four videos every week and they are on all topics from, you know, lifestyle to health and wellness, to travel, to relationships, um, fashion, beauty, all kinds of stuff. So um, just subscribe to the channel. And then if you press the notification bell, that will tell you, uh, inform you when new um, videos are, are, are posted. And I'm doing, you know, shorts now as well, which are just one minute videos. So you can just have a little glimpse into a topic of the day. But anyway, again, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being on our in our community, being on the journey with me. And I look forward to talking to you again. But I look forward to your comments, too, about volunteering. Please help us to expand our understanding of what's available. OK, everybody, take really good care. Lots of love.